All right. So let's say this. Let's say, um, let's make another column. And this chart is going to give you the cost of the item, the discounted price of, or the discount at the price, and the tax of the item. This little um, column right here, I'm going to have you show your work on. And this is going to be your final price, we're going to call it. All right. I asked third hour to do it, to combine the two separate things that we just did. Find a discount, find the tax. They could do them perfectly separate, but when I asked them to do it for the same problem, for some reason nobody could get the answer. So we're going to try to see if you guys are able to do that. But the question is, and before I even write the problem because I know you're going to start working on it, the question is, when do you think you pay the tax? on the what the price used to be or on what the new price is after the discount has been subtracted. And I don't expect you to know this, but what seems fair to you, Cameron? I'm going to turn around and let's see. Thank you. So what seems fair? The, price. the new price, right? If my item was $500, but I'm only paying $450 on it, why am I paying 6% of $500, right? So the most important thing for you to know is that first you find the discount and you subtract it. You then use that new amount to find the sales tax of that and then do what? Add it, right? So just out of curiosity, I'm going to give you an item the discount and the tax and I want to see if you can kinda and it consists of four steps so let's see if the item costs forty five dollars but it's on sale for thirty percent off and there's a six percent sales tax you don't need to show anything just yet I, all I want you to do is when you think you know the final price, hold up your calculator screen to me and show me. And I will check to see if you're right while I'm doing it right now. And if you don't know what we're doing just yet, that's okay because we're going to talk about it. I'm just, some people like to see if they can figure it out first. Okay, I have it on my screen. Show me when you think you're ready. $45 and I'm saving some money, my new price can't be more than $45, right? If it was $45 and I'm saving money, I had somebody tell me third hour that my new price was $95. I thought that's the worst discount ever. No, close. That's really awesome, okay? Yeah. So, let's take a look at what did you do first? No, no. Okay, 
So watch, please, because once you get this, you're going to fly through it, I bet you. So the first thing I need to do is find what? So I'm going to explain this right now. I need to find what 30% of 45 is, right? So in your little column in the middle, I want you to write 30% of 45 is what? And hopefully you typed in that and you got 1350. So the amount that you are saving is 1350. What do you do to get your new price? You take what it used to cost and subtract what you are saving and that gives you what we call your new price, right? So my new price is $31.50. Are you with me? That is the amount that I owe tax on. So now don't I want to know what 6% of $31.50 is? So watch, stop now for a second. I already have $31.50 entered into my calculator. Could I just put times that? Yeah. I owe what? $1.89 in tax. If this is my new price and this is how much tax I owe, what should I do with them to get my final price? Add them. $31.50 plus $1.89. Watch, $1.89 is already punched in my calculator. Can I just do that and hit plus? I didn't type in the word answer. I just hit plus. And when you do that, it says take whatever you got as the answer and add $31.50 to it, and that's how I got $33.39. Anybody get that after the fact? Awesome. Okay, $33.39. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is give you two worksheets, and I want you to look at this one right here. Um, for a second, I want you to just, while I'm passing these out, kind of skim over this and see if this makes sense to you. When you get this, I'm going to have you get rid of the percent sign because I do not want the percent as part of your um, equation. So take a minute and see if, are you ready? See if you can get this to show on your calculator. That's the answer. Second shot at it. 856 is the original price. You're saving 22% with a 7% sales tax. It's kind of already here, but try to just maybe, here, there you go. 714.42. There, now you don't have a choice. Try to use that and figure that out while I'm passing these sheets out, okay? Here's your simple thing. Listen, find the discount, subtract it, find the tax, add it. That's it. So if you can get to $714.42 on your calculator with a bunch of calculations, show me. You can't just have it typed in. Yes, good. Show me all your calculations. Once you get the hang of it, you fly through it, don't you? Okay, good. Okay. So, if you didn't get it yet, I know you're working right now, but I want you to watch this, please. Take, I'm going to say four things. The discount, the new price, the tax, the final price. So, 22% of this amount 
means 0.22 times that. That's my amount of a discount. Subtract it. 856 minus how much you're saving and you get what we're going to call, are you listening, the new price. Then, to figure out the amount of the tax, you take the new price, which is this, and take 7% of it, which gives you some tax. Then, you step four, you add the tax to the new price. So, what's that purple sheet for? With all those blank lines on it. This is what it's for. One through eight, one through four, and on the back is seven through eight. So, let's, let me uh, do number one with you so you know exactly what steps I expect you to show. Are you watching? I need everybody with me on this one, and then if you can follow me on this one, you are on your own. I will set you free to finish this. Ready? Yes. Okay, just hold on to it for a second. Sweetie. Okay, there is an item, and it costs $500, but it's on sale for 30%. What do I write right here? Yep, Elizabeth. Yep. Okay, 0 0.30, which is 30% of 500. Again, this is something you could probably do easily in your head. That's going to give you what? 150. And guess what? We're dealing with dollars today, aren't we? I want to see some dollar signs out there. All of these are dollar amounts. Okay, so for those of you who are kind of confused, if it used to be 500 to get the new price, I take what it used to be, and subtract how much I'm saving. I don't need to put dollar signs here. As long as you have them over here, you're good. So my new price is $350. That's the amount that I owe taxes on. So how do I figure out a 6% sales tax? Um, 350 times, um, 0 .06. Yep. You could do it either way. I'm just kind of in the habit of just saying 6% of 350 you could totally do it right it the other way I'm okay with that so when you enter that you get 6% of 350 and you find out is $21 and now that I know that my sales tax is 21 and my new price is 350 I have to write 350 plus 21 and that my means my final amount that I hand the cash register person is $371. Got it? Okay. Awesome. Then you get to do the rest. I want you to be careful when you get to number six and number eight. What's going on with that percent real quick? And if you're not listening, you're not going to know what to do when you get there. How can you, can you pay a half a percent? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Well, to get 6%, don't you just move it over twice? Don't you just move this over twice? Don't you just move this over twice? Well, guess what? Move it over twice, and here's what you get. You get 0 0.055. That's all. So that's what you're using as your percent. That decimal just gets moved over twice, and it's still 0 0.05, but then the other 5. So make sure you also do it for the 4.5%. Okay, if you get stuck, look here. I need to see all of these steps shown, okay? 